little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another scary Disney story. So this is the last of our longer Disney stories, actually. Uh, the website I got this from only has seven stories, and this is the seventh. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. This one is actually pretty spooky, but I also think it's a shorter one. So here we go. Enjoy some scares. He went to Disney World, but no way would he ever go back. Here's why. Who are the people inside the adorable character costumes? Who really is Mickey, Minnie, and Donald Duck? It's a question this father is pondering very deeply after a Donald Duck character followed his son into the bathroom on their Disney vacation. It's about 9 p.m. as I type this in the hotel. My wife is sitting at the bed with our little girl, Angela, and the skies are lit up with fireworks. I hope to God everything is all right. They told me to document the events of the day. It's better than sitting around, they said. So I'm going to tell you what happened. No sleep. Until I get the call. My family and I arrived at the airport about 7 a.m., and after a long night, I was relieved to know that we would be on the plane soon. I should have noticed it then, but kicking myself in the head isn't going to, so isn't going to solve anything. Finding that man will. When we got onto the flight, my wife sat next to our daughter, and I sat next to our son, Chandler. The guy across from us looked at him and smiled. He angled back and laughed. How old is he? The man chuckled. He just turned four, actually. We're taking him to Disney World for his birthday. The plane rumbled, and we fastened our seatbelts. Well, it just so happens, he, rub he rubbed his chin, and the brown hair on his head moved, that my wife is currently dragging me along to Disney World as well. The woman next to him slapped him playfully. The name's, the name's Darlene. I'm Xavier. And you, sir? Oh, I'm Gail. Nice to meet you, Xavier. And with that, the plane shot off to Florida. That's when I had my dream. Someone was speaking to me in a dark room. Usually when I have nightmares like this, I wake up at the first jump scare or gnarly face that pops up. Because they always pop up. And they always scare me. This time I was strapped down to the floor and I could hear a door open. No light escaped, but the footsteps were loud. Loud like rhinos. The floor started moving and I was stopped, and I was strapped into a chair now. Suddenly a rush of air hit me and a child's scream flew past my ear. When the air stopped moving, I woke up and the plane landed, but the couple was gone, probably because I was the last one there along with my family who had been trying to wake me up. I apologized when we got to Disney World in no time. We hit the water park first, much to Angie's dismay. She adores the park characters, and they didn't normally show, show up there. A crazy chance it was that Donald Duck showed up, in, showed up then in swimsuit gear and goggles. Our kids went ecstatic when he asked if they wanted to go swimming, and we obliged. But I went with them nonetheless. Afterwards, we went to the bathrooms to clean up, and that's when it happened. I came out first, and then I saw Donald Duck come in. I shrugged and laughed. Must have been an emergency. Ten minutes later, my son still hasn't come out. I went into the bathroom and checked the stalls. They were empty. Every stall was empty. Entirely devoid of people. Jane, I ran outside hoping to my wife had him, but she was sitting outside with Angie. Where's Chandler? I saw him go into the bathroom. Wasn't he with you? She asked, wait, who was in there with you? How many others were in there? Come to think of it, it was just me and Donald Duck. My face paled. We gotta find him now. We ran to security and asked if they could get a hold of a Donald Duck actor who might have abducted Chandler. We'll contact management. They'll call him through his walkie-talkie. Stay here. We'll go searching too. We thanked the officers and sat down for a good hour before they came back. They opened the door and looked angry and pointed fingers at, at us. Get out. What? Did you find our... Do you think it's funny to lie about crimes like this? The first officer lifted a clipboard in, in front of my face. It had the names of the characters who clocked in today and their names and what time they came. Mickey Mouse, Arnold Hastings, 9 a.m. Minnie Mouse, Emma Poland, 8.54 a.m. Donald Duck, Trevor Poland, away for a funeral in Argentina, will not be back for two weeks. Alternate Donald Duck, Hillary June, absent. Neither of them showed up today, so unless you want more trouble, I'll ask you to please leave. Edit. I forgot some parts of the, of the retelling, and I can't sleep. It seems that I have typos, too. That's kind of weird. I don't remember seeing those when I went, when I sent this into no sleep. First off, Donald Duck didn't actually swim. He sort of just dipped his costume into a pool and a little with them and talked to them in his quacky voice. When I asked him if he minded, he answered, It's A-OK -okay, in his cartoon voice. Of course, afterwards, was we left immediately to find the local police department, who assured us they would begin a citywide search, which would grow over time if needed. Apparently, it is normal for the duck himself to do odd things with the guests, like ride the kitty stuff that won't rip his costume or dance with people when music comes on. 
What really stumped me was why they treated us so ba badly. We lost our boy, and they wouldn't even believe us. But we finally got a call. The Kissimmee Police Department also looked at both actors and gave a call to Hillary June. She agreed to come into the station tomorrow, so I'll be awake for that. The officer on the line also asked me what the names were of the park officers, and I told him the name tags said Joan and Carhold. They might be in need of some discipline for turning us away, he said. We are usually very responsible parents, and I don't know how this could have happened. The best I can sleep with is the hope that Hillary June would know something here. There's a knock at the door. Must be the night, must be the night maids. I should go until next time. Edit. It's been about another hour since I got a second call from the police department. They contacted Disney World about the case, and they said that this is their first notice of the kidnapping. Sheriff Bard asked them why, and they said none of their park officers said a peep to them. They know Jones and Carhold were mentioned. Both Disney World and the police station looked into their names, and it turns out that they both of them are employed at Universal Studios. They had quit their jobs at Disney months ago. Their boss could could vouch for them. I don't know why it's go I don't know what's going on anymore. I just want him home. Please, if there's if there is a god, please bring my boy home to me. Though this is one of the shorter stories I've touched on, I think it's also one of the saddest. Cuz I mean, one, you got some guy who was going to Disney World with his wife, you know, suddenly interested in their son. Two, you have a Donald Duck costume kidnapper. And three, you have two officers who weren't even working there for months that they worked at Universal Studios, so why are they there? This is definitely one of the more interesting stories. It's definitely a head-scratcher for me, if you, know, if you want my opinion. However, I do feel bad for this guy. I don't know when this was posted, but I hope at some point he actually got some clarity and maybe his son got returned to him, or I don't know what's going on. But if you know more about this story and maybe you have some information, or, you know, maybe, you know, you know more about this, like if something happened and you got, and there was like a conclusion of some sort, I would love to know in the comment section down below. And of course, you know, all the stories you hear about like missing kids, missing family members, missing anybody, of course, you know, if you have information, obviously report it to the police if you can, report it to your local department, you know, because especially like, it may not seem like much, but even if you have the smallest information, it may lead to the biggest lead in a case. So don't hold back, don't hold your voice back, obviously, be there for people and, you know, do your best to help your community. But other than that, I thank y'all so much for watching, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye little skeletons, stay safe. I love you guys.